When you're ready to stitch a design, touch go. I wanna show you some different hoop positions that you have when you are in the middle of embroidery or getting set up. And when you're in the stitch out view, you can come down here to the hoop, it has four little arrows pointing out to it. It's called the move hoop section. So your first one is the current stitch. So when we start, that's where it is, is at the first stitch. There's what's called a park position. Park position is actually gonna move the hoop and embroidery arm all the way to the far left side. That means that the embroidery unit, when packed up in its original styrofoam, will be in the right position. That's what you wanna do before you shut it down to take it somewhere. When you touch park, it's gonna ask you to remove the hoop. So when you remove that hoop, then that embroidery arm is going to move completely out of the way. That's the park position. So when you wanna bring it back, touch current stitch position, it'll tell you which hoop you're supposed to have on. So we'll just slide that hoop back into place. Now another thing that I use quite a bit is the bobbin position. So we can just touch this function here and touch bobbin position. That moves the hoop all the way away from us and allows us to get in and change the bobbin. If your fingers are uh, able, you can slide this off, get the bobbin out, pull it, I always cut it, and then go ahead and reset the new bobbin. It might be something to kind of get used to because you do have to get that in that tension and then up and over that little guy. So usually I can just push it and it will come right in there. And then put the cover back on and then cut your thread. So when you're, if you just push start stop, that will go ahead and move it back into position. Or if you want to have it, you can touch current stitch position, that'll move it. Another option that you have is trim position. Trim position is going to move the hoop all the way towards you. This allowing you to trim, cut. If you've got appliques, it's really easy to get your scissors in here and kind of maneuver around. If it's a really intricate design, I usually pull the hoop off and do it in my lap where I can twist the hoop a lot easier. But if you just need to kind of do a couple clips, that is one wonderful. And then we also have center position too. Sometimes when the needle is all the way over here, the first stitch is here, the needle threader will come down and hit this part of the hoop and not allow the needle threader to work. So I'll come over here to the hoop option, move it to the center, and it slides it here, use the needle threader, and then when I push start, it'll go back to the current position. Now, two things that I use a lot in here is the bobbin position and the trim position. Remember in the function buttons, if we go ahead and touch the needle up and down, that's the trim position. And if you touch the stitch restart button, which is the one over here with the arrow at the top of that triangle, that's the bobbin position. So you don't even have to come to this screen. You've actually got two quick buttons right at your fingertips to use for those exact items there. So it just depends on what you're needing, but that's where they hang out. It's in the stitch view, stitch out view menu, and right here where it says move hoop.